YouTube DJ Lifestyle back with another banger. Today's video is a video on one of the Island Boys, and we all know that they went viral last year for um, making a song last year. And I don't know what the song called because I don't listen to them, or I never was a fan of them, but I knew of them because they did went viral on the net and YouTube and all that stuff. You feel me? But before we get inside this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notification, and I really appreciate all my supporters really subscribing to my channel and also to the new people subscribing to my channel because I was seeing new folks subscribing to my channel and stuff like that, and we all know that I'm giving out a giveaway at 2K subs, so keep subscribing, 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 and I really am giving out a $25 gift card giveaway at 2K subs, so just keep subscribing, just like I said, and um, let's get into this video. First thing that I saw was Island Boys Frankie Venegas arrested for a domestic battery after poolside spat with his girlfriend. So basically, I guess he was arrested for a domestic violence or domestic battery after a poolside altercation with his girlfriend and stuff like that. You feel me? And I don't know why mans put their hands on females or try to put their hands on females now you going to jail for a domestic violence charge or a domestic battery or assault and battery you feel me and i think domestic battery is lower than assault and battery so he 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 got lucky you feel me he got lucky and stuff like that but it's crazy that he put his hand on his girl and like that's crazy. That's dumb. You feel me? And y'all been in public because they say a poolside, but I don't know if it was in public, but they did say it was um, after a poolside incident. So people could have been around. People couldn't have been around. You feel me? But the whole situation is dumb because he could have just walked away from that and didn't have to put his hands on her because... Me, I would have just walked away because why put my hands on her if I know she going to call the police and now I'm going to jail. You feel me? And that's dumb. You feel me? But the next thing that I saw was Frankie is known as one of the viral island boys and he was arrested after his girlfriend told cops he slapped her and pushed her in the pool. So just like I said, he is one of the um, viral island boys that went viral on the internet and stuff like that. And he was arrested, you feel me? Because his girlfriend told the police he slapped her and he pushed her in the pool, you feel me? And she not wrong because she's a female, you feel me? And I don't wish jail on nobody, but she not wrong because he slapped her, you feel me? What you expect a girl gonna do if a man slap her or put his hands on her, you feel me? Like, what you think? What you expect what she going to do? It don't matter who she is to you or not. She's still going to call the police if she feels threatened or if she feels like she can't do nothing. You feel me? And there's nothing wrong with that because she's a female. And if it been vice versa, if he'd been a female, he would have did the same thing. You feel me? If you feel me, if his boyfriend had hit him, you feel me? So if she not wrong. You feel me? And I don't think she wrong. Just let me know in the comments, do y'all think she wrong about calling the police on him or do y'all think she right? And just like I said, I don't wish jail on nobody, but he's dumb for doing that, you feel me? And that's a bitch move, you feel me? Because who hits woman, you feel me? Hit a man, you feel me? And we all know he's soft anyways, but I ain't even gonna get into all that, you feel me? But the next thing that I saw was, according to legal docs obtained by TMZ, Venegas girlfriend told police they got into an argument saturday at the pool area of the air b and b in pop panel beach after she threatened to break up with him due to his physical abusive behavior so basically it looked like he he, he been beating on her putting his hands on her and she been getting beat up you feel me because she basically said that um she threatened him to break up with him and stuff like that because of his um, physical abusive behavior. You feel me? So I guess he been hitting her and stuff like that. So she wanted to break up with him because of that. You feel me? And then after, I guess she told him she don't want to be with him no more because of his physical abusive behaviors. 
and stuff like that, he damn hit her again. You feel me? He slap her again and push her in the pool. You feel me? So, like, I guess he don't care. You feel me? Because she basically just said she told him she want to break up because of him putting his hands on her and stuff like that. Keep doing it and stuff like that. You feel me? And he hit her again. So, what do you think she about to do? Call the police, bro. Like, you is so dumb, bro. And, like, like it's like you wanted to go to jail because... Like, that's dumb, bro. Like, because it's a video that he pulls out, and he's dumb, bro. I ain't go cap. He's dumb, but he did got locked up, and it happened on Saturday at the pool area of their Airbnb. So, now I guess nobody was there and stuff like that, because I did say somebody probably was there, but I guess nobody was there because they did say it at their Airbnb in Papano Beach, and I guess that's in Florida. And that's crazy, bro, because now you got to charge the beat over hitting your girlfriend. Come on now, that you could have walked away from. You just stupid, bro. I ain't go cat. Like, that's really stupid. And the next thing that I saw was she told the police department he got upset and slapped her across the face and pushed her into the shallow part of the pool, causing her to hit her chin on the concrete floor below. That's crazy because he pushed her in the shallow part of the pool and she hit her chin on the concrete because we all know in the front of the pool is shallow and like it's straight concrete right there, but water right there too, but it's for like babies. So I think he did it intentionally. You feel me? Just let me know in the um, comments which I think that he did it on purpose so she could have hit her face or he didn't do it on purpose. You feel me? But that is a bitch move. If I've been there, I would have beat him up for doing that because now you got her face messed up and you got her legs messed up. You feel me? But the next thing that I saw was police also said they noted bruises on her chin, also on her legs and arms when they spoke to her at a nearby hospital. So just like I said, she had bruises on her legs, her arms, and everywhere on her body. You feel me? Also on her chin. Just like she said, she fall, he push her in the pool, she fall, and she hit her chin. You feel me? And that's crazy because she could have got knocked out or she could have lose a couple of teeth for hitting her mouth. You feel me? On concrete. Like, concrete hurt now. You feel me? And it's hard. So, and so, so it's like crazy that she didn't pass out or got knocked out or didn't lose no teeth or anything. You feel me? But, I just glad she up out of this situation and stuff like that because that nigga is a bitch. I ain't go cap. I bet you he won't do that to no male. You feel me? And I just happy for her that she leaving this man. You feel me? And I hope she really do leave this man because if she don't, it's going to keep happening. You feel me? And and it's on her then after that. If, it, if she go back to this man, it's on her. Nobody can do nothing because she know what the outcome going to be. You feel me? But the last thing that I saw was the police said they went to the Airbnb and arrested him for a domestic battery. And he also let his fans know he's gotten out of jail by posting a pretty video outside the jail. I don't know the word that they say was. It, they said pretty and assisted. I don't know what that word was, so that's why I didn't say it. But he did post a video when he got out of jail, letting his fans know that he out of jail and stuff like that. But that's nothing that you want to brag on that you went to jail about. And it's nothing to brag on about going to jail. You feel me? Because he was bragging about saying, oh, it's 24 hours lockup and he been in jail three days and this and that and the third. But it's nothing to brag about going to jail about that or brag about going to jail at all. You feel me? But that was the last thing that I saw. And just like I say in every other video, I love y'all and I hope y'all have a blessed day. And DJ Lifestyle is out. Peace.